Germany and Israel have disagreed over the issue of Jewish settlements on Palestinian land. But Chancellor Merkel stopped short of condemning Israeli actions, uh, actions which have left her European partners furious. Israel is facing increasing isolation on the continent after it announced plans to build 3,000 homes on occupied Palestinian territory. Germany criticized the move but didn't join other EU states who called in Israeli am ambassadors to condemn it. Relations between the two have been uh, especially tense after Germany abstained from a UN vote which upgraded Palestinian status in the organization. For more on this, on the story, I'm joined by German journalist uh, Manuel Oxenreiter. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, sir. Now, Germany abstained from the UN vote on Palestinian statehood, but it didn't go as far as other EU states who called in Israel ambassadors to protest against the settlement plan. How would you describe Berlin's approach to Israel at this stage? Well, first of all, as you already mentioned in your question, Germany abstained from the UN vote. Germany didn't vote for the Palestinian cause, which is interpreted in Israel as an anti-Israel vote. So first of all, Germany abstained. Germany didn't turn its back against Israel. Um, the protests coming from German politicians against the settlement politics right now are, in my opinion, more or less symbolic because uh, they are telling their protest, they are uh, notifying, they are noticing that this is uh, a violation of the, the, the peace plan of the Middle East. But we will have to wait until the end of the day if this uh, political check they give is really covered. If this protest follows a political action, we have to see the difference about an oral protest and after this uh, political action. To be honest, I don't think that there will be any political action coming after the oral protest. Now, Israel is facing increasing isolation in Europe. Uh, there's been talk of possible EU sanctions if Tel Aviv doesn't back down on its settlement decisions. Do you expect this kind of pressure from Europe and what stance would Germany take if sanctions are on the table? This is a really interesting question because we see here a collision of two reason of states of Germany. We see at the one side Germany as a country within the European Union. You know that Germany is doing everything for the benefit of the European Union. And on the other side we see the special relationships towards Israel. So in the past there wasn't a conflict because Europe always was at the side of Israel or, or the, the West was at the side of Israel. So now we see two different reasons of state uh, in, a, in, a, in a coalition. And by the way, maybe you notice both reason of states are not the reason of state of the existence of Germany or of the benefit of, of the German people. So it will be interesting. I don't think that Germany would go right now with this government or with the this uh, political parties in the Deutsche Bundestag would go so far to turn its back towards Israel or to pull back, for example, ambassadors or to send ambassadors out or in any uh, threat of sanctions towards Israel. As I said in my answer before, I think we, we witness now oral protests with no political check coming after this. So, so then my question would be, why is then Israel so provocative in its decisions? I mean, there's a lot of growing international isolation regarding what they decided to do with the settlements. Uh, does countries like Germany feel that because, they, you know, they'll never turn its back on it, that they can do whatever they want to do? Well, if we look back in the last decades, we see that Israel really was pampered by the West. I don't know how many UN resolutions were put against Israel and uh, how many sanctions Israel or, or resolutions Israel really followed. So all again the same thing. There were protests, but these protests almost never followed real political actions. And I think Israel is very much used to this. And Israel can rely a lot on Germany because we have in the political parties in Germany, we have a very strong pro-Israeli lobby. And I don't think that Germany would turn its back. Again, it's the same answer I can, I can give to you on this question. Uh, I don't think even think that Israel is isolated because, again, the countries abstained. I think just one European country, I think it was Czech Republic, was voting uh, um, uh, with Israel against the Palestinian cause. So uh, it is more or less a neutral point. But what 
can it mean? It can mean a slow change of European politics towards Israel. Could, it, be could it also mean a special, the special relationship that Germany and, and uh, Israel have, as Angela Merkel admitted today, that they'll stand behind Israel? Is it, about, is it more about economic stance standing together, or is it just a friendship based on memories of the Holocaust? Well, this, this friendship, this so-called friendship, but it's not really a friendship. It's, of course, based on, on the past of the two countries, of the two people. But when we see, when, when you mention the economic point of view, it's really interesting because we see on the one side that Germany puts a lot of economic power, a lot of taxpayers' money in supporting Israel. I just want to remember the six dolphin uh, uh, submarine, um, submarines we are delivering to Israel, where the first two were a present. So this whole business business was covered with German taxpayers' money, I think it was around 900 million euros. So on this time we are supporting and we are supporting Israel with a lot of other goods, also with war goods. On the other side, Germany also carries out the consequences of the wars of Israel. So for example, now in Germany um, it's estimated that 150,000 Palestinians live who used to live before in, uh, in Palestine. And Manu or Manuel Oxenreiter, I'm going to have to leave it right there. I've just run out of time. Hope, wish we had more time with you. Thank you very much, German journalist Manuel Oxenreiter. Thank you so much.